the original idea was to challenge the traditional structure of a school to take a look at how we could have um, a program that would engage the students and have them involved in controlling and being responsible for their education. STEM is um, a, the idea of focusing instruction on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. If we can teach the students to be uh, highly competent in mathematics and science, we can teach them to do anything else because they will engage in the higher order thinking process very effectively. You would see a group of professionals who are committed to a project, who have brought a strong experiential base, and you see people that are sharing and working together to meet a, a commitment that we all made. Our belief became that every square foot of the building and every square foot of the site needed to provide a learning opportunity for students. In order to facilitate that process, the first thing we did was change the language that we used. As an example, we don't have classrooms. We have flexible learning areas. We don't have extended learning areas for students. We have student collaboration areas. We don't have science labs. We have STEM labs. And we don't have a library. We have a research commons. And the, the key in getting to the vision was to start with our language and move it forward to embrace that. We had to think about or rethink about the concept of flexibility. And I think where we ended up was a space that is rapidly reconfigurable uh, so that depending on what the, the teacher and the students need on any given point in the day, with very little effort, they can create the kind of space that they need. And all of the systems in the building are working together in order to make that happen. Well, from the very beginning, the design team had a major goal of reducing energy use in the building. And we've done this using sustainable uh, principles to reduce that energy. These principles have to do with the solar orientation of the building on the site in the north-south direction. It has to do with uh, insulation improved throughout the building envelope. And it has to do with high efficiency glass and glazing systems. We selected several passive strategies, including building orientation, maximizing north light, uh, having flexible glass walls that could expand so we could maintain visual control from classrooms into the larger space and into the outside, and that these walls could be opened directly to the exterior from the classrooms or from classroom to classroom. A daylighting in this context is the careful introduction of natural lighting throughout the majority of the school spaces so that the need for electric lighting is reduced to very few hours per day. Techniques such as skylights, Clara stories, and high performance glazing systems offer a layered approach that helps manage glare, solar heat gain, and uniformity of illuminance throughout all the spaces. Scientific studies have proven that students who are educated in well daylighted spaces test more than 20% better in math and reading than students who are not exposed to a well daylit environment. So the application of that is a key component to the uh, success of the project as a whole. Students from this school will be prepared for higher education opportunities and to join a workforce unlike a workforce that we have today. That leads to the school district becoming a vital part of the economic engine of this community. The intent is to focus in on 21st century skills which have been defined to tell us that we need uh, students who are able to uh, assess situations, analyze and synthesize information, apply that to real life situations, create projects, see them to completion. So the intent is to improve communication skills, increase technology skills. At the same time, the focus is about future application. We're looking at a um, process by which they're going to be able to look at education as opposed to being a rigorous set of courses they go through, but apply it to more about what their interest is and accelerate themselves through the process using technology. I think it is highly collaborative, uh, exciting, and engaging.